found two uh, quotes that really struck me. And one says, champions realize that defeat and learning from it even more than from winning is part of the path to mastery. So defeat and learning from defeat is even more important than winning. And then the second quote is, everyone falls. The only difference is champions get up. And when we first talked about it, started to look at this, you know, champion, you think of champion, yeah. gold medal Olympics of the like, this is the one who wins everything. Oh, yeah. But the more I sat with this, the more that this rang true is that um, champion of the spirit is continuing to persevere and to pursue spirit. It's literally what Karen was just sharing. Mm. It's just this constant looking and seeking God and trying to find God and failing, right? Um, yeah. Falling and, you know, feeling like, oh, I can't find God. Where is God? I lost God. <laughs> God lost me. <laughs> I, I'm mad at God. All of these things. <laughs> but getting back yeah. up and still going and saying what she was showing. I was like, my heart mm. wants more of this. I want more of you, God. I want more of this intimate one-on-one uh, -on -one rather than this God, right? Yeah. But my my best friend, right? Mm. My, my comforter. Um, and oneness, they talk about talking with your divine and speaking every day as your best friend. Right. The, the the things that I mean, God's witnessing everything anyways. Right. <laughs> right. So um, why wouldn't it be that God is my best friend? Yeah. That I am pursuing him, her, Holy mm -hmm. Spirit, whatever, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. Right. But yeah. pursuing that connection and um, this point of uh, about. Um, because uh, I think I, 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 Einstein, I think he was one of the ones who said, too, that uh, a failure is part of every success. So there's there's no way to be successful without failing. And sometimes I think uh, uh, failing uh, throws a block. I know in my life it has. And it, mm -hmm. it causes me to like, I just, I don't even want to try. But with this, it's about continuing to um, get back up and then continue to look for spirit, look for God. Where are you? You know, come, come into my life, come into my moment, you know, uh, come into this moment right now when I don't know what to do. I think uh, what Karen was pointing to is probably the biggest piece is that surrender piece of how do I surrender? How do I let go of my ego, of my will, of my thinking, of my doing, of I know what this is or my plan for my life? I mean, look at all this. We're not, none of us are spring chickens, but what, a, <laughs> no, but what a beautiful thing that we're actually starting to see like, oh, this is what's really important. I mean, I was very struck about uh, her testimony and while she's still challenged with physical challenges, her heart is what's being healed. Yeah. And this body, you know, this body we drop. <laughs> the moment <laughs> we're born, the, the most, the guarantee is that we're not going to keep this body. But this, our soul, our heart, our that piece. And so isn't that what we want healing? Isn't that what we want to keep going back to God and saying, you know, uh, heal my heart, heal my pain, mm -hmm. heal my uh, disconnection, my, my belief that I'm somehow not connected to you or I'm not your child. Um, Wendy was, was speaking to it in all the prayers and like everything that I was looking at, she was speaking to it. And uh, just that um, idea that somehow God doesn't love us or that we're not his beloved child. And um, that's, that's all that we are is loved by God.